is the excitement of creating. I'm still creating. <laughs> Come on, she's a straight shooter. She looks good, 83 years old, and a straight shooter. Woo! I'm giving her ticks after ticks after ticks. She is the epitome of a freak. Epitome of a freak. What's going on everyone? Welcome to Nice World TV. Woo! We have a great show for you today. Today's show is going to be about the 83-year-old Tinder hottie. Hmm? Yes, I just said it. Number one, she's 83. And number two, she's on Tinder. You know when people say age is just a number? I'm really starting just to believe that right now. Age is truly just a number. 83 years old, I'm thinking you'll be sleeping. There you go, sleeping all day. But this woman, she's on Tinder and she is out there. So you know what? Pfft, let's watch this. And uh, I'm 83 years old. I think I know more about male's genitalia than any doctor. I may not know more than a gay man, but I do. I know. I, I know about guys. Yeah. Okay. Hattie, 83. Fascinating older beauty is seeking a steady younger friend lover for a shared life of adventure and passion. No pro-Trump and no players. I've been on Tinder for about eight months. I like the ones with open smiles um, and that look healthy. See, now this guy says he's 57. He's probably 26, but he purposely does that. I have to say, by what I can see here, this woman, she might be 83, but she looks about, I would say, 60. The way she looks after herself, I have to clap for her, honestly. You deserve a clap. If you see my video right now, I'm clapping for you because you look absolutely phenomenal. 83 and you look like that, you need to be on posters. You need to be in magazines because your skin is excellent. The way you're carrying yourself is excellent. Wow. wow, gotta say, this woman, she's fire, absolute fire. Another thing I like about her as well, she is straight to the point. She's on this dating apps and she said exactly what she wants. She's not messing about. She's saying she's looking for a lover, so that means she wants a bit of boom, boom, bam, bam, bim, bim, and she wants to find a real companion. T come on, she's a straight shooter. She looks good, 83 years old, and a straight shooter. Woo! I'm giving her ticks after ticks after ticks. She's wicked. You know what? Let's keep looking. At I love younger men because they're in the middle of an achievement, of a goal. There's the excitement of creating. No! I'm still creating. And I'm still <laughs> moving forward on my life goal. And it's exciting. Oh, look! He no! came up. Okay. They love giving orgasms. I love getting them. So now I have a steady stream. So I don't put it that way. I have a steady uh, selection of young men. Okay, so my feet are in, and I lie back. <laughs> this oh my gosh, I need to say this. I honestly need to say this. This woman here, she is a definition of a cougar. The actual definition of a cougar. You see what she said? She loves the young men. Why does she love them? Because A, they're ambitious and they're building something. She's 83. She don't need no old man who's sleeping all day. She wants someone young, fresh. Hey, baby. She is, she's phenomenal. But I have to say another thing as well. You can tell already she is freaky. <laughs> she's got to be one of the most freakiest women I've ever come across. She's so open as well. She's the type of woman who will eat you like soup, 100%. She says she likes getting the have fun times and she likes to receive it as well. She is freaky as hell and she's 83. The only thing I would take into consideration is obviously being intimate with an older person, especially at the age of 83. You need to worry about their hips. You don't want to pop a hip out of place. You don't want to break a bone. But this woman here, she don't care. She does not care. She's out there to enjoy her life. And you know what? I'm giving credit to you. 100%, man. I think it is phenomenal. You know what? Let's keep going. My former husband had a wonderful sex life. And when the children went off to college, a lot of the dynamics broke down. So we got divorced. And then he remarried. 
And I thought, and I'll remarry. And it didn't work that way, but I was horny. And from that point on, I was 55, and I put an ad in the paper. We didn't have the internet. And then I got a series of lovers, one after the other. They left their names on my answering machine, and I auditioned them. And I had a lot of dates and met a lot of men. But all the while, I was praying, this one's going to go to bed with me and say, I to be honest, in long-term relationships or marriages, this does tend to happen, almost where the love life tends to just decrease or actually break down. And you can tell here, she said she's been married for a very long time and it just broke down. So that's pretty normal. But um, one thing I find amazing now, she said she created ads in the paper to find lovers. So her ex-husband got married and she just went slaying the world pretty much. And you know what? People like this, you can't say anything bad about them because they're so straight, they're so direct, they're not playing about. They're telling you exactly what they want to do and what they're on. She says, 100%, I'm creating ads. I don't want to get married. I'm just going to find myself a whole bunch of young lovers. 53 years old, that's what she did. You can't knock her. Like, it's better than being married to an old man who sleeps all day. You know what? Salute to her. But let's keep going. I'll see what else she's saying. This, this is actually my... One of my oh, first experiences with an older woman, such as Hattie. I would say this is a fantasy just because I haven't been too in tune with the older crowd or such. But yeah, I would consider it a fantasy. Yeah. How are you? Good to see you. I said, one man for my bed, one man for my everything. Okay, that's Didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. So I miss making love. Which is crazy because you're you're an amazing person, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to laugh, man. The person she finds is a guy named Sean, right? This guy here, you could already tell he's a big bulky guy. He would break her to pieces. But he even said it himself, this is just a fantasy for him, like an older woman. There's a lot of people in the world who obviously have these type of fantasies. They like the older women, they want to try it. And she's stumbled across Sean and Sean's going to do a job. Yeah! He can tell already, Sean is there to do a job. And this lady here, I would say, don't hurt her. But you know what? It's the other way around. She's going to devour him. Look, look at her. Like Even look at the video, the way she's looking at him. She's excited. And this is a woman who's living her life and she's on a mission. So to her and Sean, I hope they have a, a great, passionate love life because whew, he gonna need a lot of help to handle her. She gonna devour him, I'm telling you now. <laughs> Let's keep going. See what Sean says. <laughs> this was fun, this was fun. Definitely. Good night, Hattie. Sean is an absolute darling. So he's a very sexual man. I'm a very sexual woman. And there is no sense of whether or not that will ever develop in that. I'll probably have him massage me and I'll massage him. And. Man, I need to say this now. A lot of women need to be like oh, her, 100%. Yeah. No man in this world wants a boring vanilla type of woman. You want a woman to devour you like a bucket of KFC fried chicken. And you see this woman right here? She is the epitome of a freak. Epitome of a freak. And I'm giving her absolute ratings, man. Absolute ratings. I hope they have a great relationship. That's all I'm saying. But you know what? Guys, thank you very much for watching today. It was actually a very interesting type of show. People in their fantasies, age just being a number, and how amazing you can really look if you look after your skin and your health. But um, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and watch the next show. So I will see you later.